welcome to the bees business or welcome back if you have been here before today is a craft with me sort of day i am working on a project for my kids this is something that I do every single year around their birthdays. My last craft with me was actually this same project, but just different numbers. Here's a quick summary of this craft. Every year around my kids' birthdays, as they are turning a new age, I find that number at the craft store, and then I also select some stickers and paper and other items, potentially, that go along with some of their current interests. And then I decorate the number with those items. And it kind of reminds me of like a time capsule like item. It isn't going in a time capsule per se, but it does get hung on their walls in their bedrooms. And then we can look back at each of the years as they have grown and see some of their interests through the years. It's a pretty simple craft project overall, and it's also inexpensive and quick to assemble. I'm not really sure why I decided to start doing this when my oldest child turned one, but it is a tradition that has stuck since then. And he is now 11 and when he turned double digits, I asked him if he still wanted this tradition to continue and it was a very quick yes that he enjoyed it and he did indeed want the tradition to continue. So we are right at that point in the year where my children are all turning a new age. We have two birthdays that have already happened. My oldest is now 11, my daughter is nine and in just a couple of days from the time that I'm filming this, our youngest is going to turn six. So it is time to decorate their next set of numbers and then get them hung up in their rooms. Before I really dive into this project, I wanted to show you the items that I have so far. I have purchased two wooden ones to put together to make the number 11 for my oldest son. He is very into the outdoors, all things nature, so I have selected a green textured looking background as well as these outdoor related stickers. I don't think I'll end up using all of them because these numbers aren't that large, but it's nice to have a variety and some choices. For my daughter, who is turning nine. She's super into science and learning and gaining knowledge. So I have selected for her this multicolored, almost tie-dyed looking background and these science related stickers. These are more of a 3D sticker. I think that these are so fun and I think the background really complements these stickers. So I'm quite excited about her little layout. And for my youngest, who is just about to turn six, he is an animal lover through and through, so I selected some amphibians, snakes, alligators, lizards. He's very into geckos, lizards right now. We have family who live in Florida and he has lots of memories of hunting for geckos in Florida. So I was excited to find this leaf looking, this monstera leaf looking pattern and then these little animals to go with it. So I'm very excited about each of the layouts that we have going on for today. And without further ado, we are gonna dive in and get started. just going around and making sure the edges are nice and stuck down now. And when I end up creating these numbers in bulk like this, where I'm working on not just one child's numbers, I like to do this step and then give this a little bit of time to dry before I start sticking stickers to it. And then I will move on to another number and start cutting out the background for that one. And then by the time I have the backgrounds cut out for these other numbers, these should be dry and ready for stickers. So we will set those off to the side and we will move on to our girl. You've got to remember to flip the paper over when you trace your number, but you also need to flip the number over. That way when you cut this out and you flip it around, your number will be going the right way and your color will fit correctly. To 
get this little circle out of the nine, I'm going to use this little tool and I'm going to be able to cut it right on this mat because this is a cutting mat that I keep on top of my craft table. And this just works really well to get this circular shape out nice and precisely. I'm going to work on this little section a little bit more. Not loving how that looks. It's a little more of a gentle transition there. There we go. Now we will let the nine do some drying and we're going to get started cutting out the paper for the six. There we have the six with the paper. We're gonna mod podge this and get it glued on. I love how this six turned out. This might be my favorite one. I wasn't sure how the pattern would take and I actually didn't even think to look and see exactly how I wanted to use the paper, but I actually really love exactly how it ended up turning out. We should be done with the Mod Podge, so I'm going to go ahead and get that sealed back up. I've had this one type of Mod Podge for quite a while. It lasts a long time. I'm going to go ahead and put the scissors away because we should also be done with those as well as the X-Acto knife. I'm going to set this off to the side. I'll clean this later. I reuse these quite a few times before I get rid of them. Now we're on to the super fun part where we get to start sticking the stickers on. I'm going to go in order of which ones I put the Mod Podge on first because they are the most dry. So we're going to start with Eli's, his 11. There are a lot of really fun stickers on here. Our woodland retreat, love to hike. He does love to hike. I love the tree, hiking, nature walks, the great outdoors, bird watching, gone fishing, let's kayak, scenic route, outdoor fun, log cabin. We live in a log cabin, so that one has to go on there. Love trails, mountains, and lakes, scenic view. All of these are pretty great. I don't think that we will well, actually, our woodland retreat, our house is a woodland retreat, and he is quite obsessed with our house. He always wants to be home if he has a choice to go out and do something or just stay at our house, which includes being outside in our woods surrounding our house, then he would much rather just be home. So all of these are pretty appropriate, except maybe the campground one and trails versus camp. But the majority of these are going to be great fits for his numbers. So I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes now kind of experimenting and seeing where I like which stickers and we'll see what our final outcome is.
for too long Standing here a while just to take it all in Radio's playing our song And Then you stood there smiling at me As so many times before well, there you have it. That's a wrap on this craft with me. I'm really in love with how these numbers turned out and I'm very excited to show my kids in the morning. I know that they will be excited to get them hung up on their walls. I'm really loving how this turned out for Eli. He is just such a nature enthusiast and loves to be outdoors. So this feels very fitting for him. My daughter, Charlie, is very into science and discoveries. So this is a perfect fit for her interests at this time. And then our littlest, Colin, is quite the animal lover. So this number Six feels like a very great fit for him. This really is a pretty simple project. I just popped into the craft store, bought a couple of stickers and sheets of paper that represented my kids' interests, found a number or numbers in Eli's case that represented their current ages or the ages they were about to turn, and Mod Podge, scissors, an X-Acto knife, and that was about all we needed for materials for this project. It's not a super time consuming project, which is also great because as a mom, time is not something I ever seem to have enough of, but I do still want to find ways to honor my children and create lasting memories and mementos for them. And this is just something that has stuck through the years and I'm so glad it has. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any traditions as your children grow, is there anything that you do each year on their birthday? If so, please leave it in the comments below. I hope that you enjoyed this relatively quick effortless and inexpensive project. And I would also love to know if you plan to try this out with your kids. It's never too late, even if they are already a couple of years old, or even if they're 10 and you haven't done it before, it's never too late to start. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share it with anyone that you think may also enjoy it. All those things really help out my channel. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.